This is Twit. Let's talk about what we can do to clean up our devices. And Rosemary, I think that you uh, make a good point in our show notes, which is that we kind of need to understand the difference between what's stored on our device and what's stored off of our device that we simply have access to due to the miracle of the cloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The most common question that I get from folks is, hey, like I have loads of storage space, but it keeps saying it can't back up my phone. What's the problem? And the diff the problem here is not that your 512 gigabyte iPhone does not have space for more pictures. It has plenty of space. Uh, probably, but it's most likely that you don't have enough space left in your iCloud storage, uh, which is the storage that you are probably having to pay for with Apple because you get five gigabytes for free. Um, so on device storage is the actual physical inside of your phone or iPad um, or Apple TV or Vision Pro uh, uh, storage. And that's you know what you have to pay the extra fee for when you get it from Apple. And iCloud storage is the I pay for it every month to get 50 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes, one terabyte, two terabyte of storage, which is where all of your backups go. But also things like your photos get synced through uh, iCloud photos and documents can get synced through iCloud Photos as well. And Apple has a really good guide, which I think we can probably link folks to in the show notes, showing how you can find uh, all of the, you know, what the difference is there and how you can find out how much storage you've got. And they've also got some links, uh, which we can go through in a moment on optimizing your storage. But yes, if uh, somebody says, hey, you know, I need more storage on my uh, my iPhone or my iPad, because, you know, you folks are the, the techie nerds uh, for your friends and family who are going to be answering these questions, I guess. Start by double checking. Do they need more device storage or do they need more iCloud storage? Because more device storage probably means a new iPhone or a new iPad, but more iCloud storage I mean, it's not lovely to have to pay uh, an extra subscription every month, but it's usually just a couple of bucks to add some more storage. And then you've got all of your backups and all of your photos are synced. So if something does happen to your phone, then you're not going to lose all of those precious pics. One of the great things, uh, again, about Apple support in particular, and we'll we'll go to the second link uh, in the, the rundown there, is that Apple support does regularly try to kind of keep its support system updated with what people actually need to know. And so occasionally you'll come across a great page that's sort of a, um, a, 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 central hub of a lot of recommendations and suggestions that you might have uh, to help make more space. And so uh, Apple's support page for manager iCloud storage includes a section called making more space available in iCloud. One of the things that you can do is uh, follow what's called the recommended for you prompt. And in your settings on your iPhone, you just tap on settings, you tap on your name at the top, your, uh, we call it the, uh, I call it the Apple ID band and then you tap on iCloud, you'll see a uh, page that says recommended for you. When you tap on that, you will find some different options uh, to help to make space uh, with iCloud, but also on your device. So for example, you can review your photos and videos. So if you find duplicate photos, screenshots, or videos that maybe you don't need anymore, it can suggest uh, those to remove, which will save you 46 gigabytes. That's in the example that they provide. And then also perhaps you have large files that you aren't using anymore, or that maybe you could move to external storage of some sort to save, in this case, 5.6 gigabytes. What's great is that that recommended for you also has a section for on device storage, like Rosemary was talking about, where it will suggest different things like if you've ever, um, for example, uh, paid for a show and so you're getting episodes regularly uh, sent to your device, an iPad, for example, and you watch that show, it may be that multiple that show are downloaded to your device and they're just sitting there. You've already watched the show. You don't plan to continue to watch the show or rather rewatch the show because it's the current season, whatever it happens to be. So that's storage that can be removed uh, or files rather that can be removed. So that recommended for you section can help you with that. Um, you can also just do a general uh, iCloud backup size reduction, for example, by uh, choosing to not sync certain things to your iCloud. Uh, perhaps you have 
at some point you've had maybe an iPhone uh, 10, an iPhone 11, and those backups are still in existence in your iCloud storage. You could remove those backups from your iCloud storage. There are so many different ways to help clean out the cruft that could be stored in your iCloud if you've run out of space. And I have to tell you one of the, uh, anecdotally, one of the biggest um, storage takers uh, that I've seen are people's texts and attachments and messages. A lot of times if you're using uh, messages in the cloud and you choose to keep your messages forever, you may find that that is just taking up a whole hunk of storage space in the cloud. So that might be something that you choose to remove as well. Uh, lots of different options for files and, you know, all sorts of stuff that you can take out of your iCloud storage if you've got way too much uh, stored there. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash clubtwit to see all of iOS Today.